Managing your waves gives you much more control over finding what you need when you need it. Let me open an existing wave to show you some examples. And I'll minimize my inbox. When you click on Archive, this wave will no longer appear in your inbox. This helps to keep your inbox uncluttered, but allows you to still keep the wave. In order to find this wave that's been archived, you can simply do a search for its contents. Or you can click on All from the menu here and you'll view all of your wave messages. Mute allows you to stop this wave from appearing in your inbox even after someone has updated it. So if you don't want to continue on with the conversation for a day and you want to keep your inbox uncluttered, just mute the wave and then when you're ready to participate again, just search for it. And when you open it, it will automatically be unmuted and you can click on Inbox to add it back to your inbox. You can also create saved searches so that you can filter waves. Click on the plus sign next to searches. Give your search a name, like the title of a project, and then the terms that are in the wave that you would like to save. You can choose to have searches that meet this criteria archived or marked as read. Then click on Submit. If you're performing a search from your wave inbox, You can also save that search by clicking on Save Search. Then just give it a title and click on Submit. Then when you want to find these searches, just click on the search you want to open under the Searches category. And you can open the wave and continue on with the conversation. If you run into problems with Google Wave and need help, then click on the help link up here to access Google Wave help pages. Thanks for watching and don't miss the first nine episodes in the Google Wave 101 series.